bank creation and recreation, tell us what your three tips for doing so will be. My three tips for doing yeah. a successful, a successful my three band. Tips, well, my three tips for being a successful band? Yes. Mm. If you look at the greatest artists in the history of music, one thing stands out, there's only one of them. So whenever I talk to young bands, I say don't copy anybody because the greatest artists never have a copy. Many people will try to copy them, but there's only one Bob Marley, there's only one Jimi Hendrix, there's only one John Lennon, there's only one Paul McCartney, there's only one cheap trick, you know? Because you have to be an individual. Number two, you have to be, in a way, really honest. The audience will figure out, now you can play, dress up and be a character, but the audience will tell deep down if you are really true. I believe the greatest artists have a truth to them that people never get tired of, kind of like John Wayne. There was a certain truth to John Wayne and people always liked and were attracted to this. Uh, number three, I think you have to have a lot of perseverance because um, ultimately people will tell you you're stupid, ugly, and um, dumb, uh, particularly if you want to be yourself. If you read any of the critiques of any of the great artists, you will find there was a ton of bad press that they got. Uh, and even if you go back to Mozart and Bach, there are books published on all the bad press that Mozart got, Bach got, Beethoven got. If you're truly great, most people aren't going to understand because it's too beyond what they, they, they already know. And as Isaac Asimov, the science fiction writer, once said, science fiction is really kind of a joke because we can only talk about things that have already been invented. Artists invent things that are new, uh, and, and it's hard sometimes for people to really figure out what this really means. Andy Warhol was so ahead of his time that he was attacked and attacked. He's not a great artist, and now he's one of the most famous artists in the world. So to be a great artist means you just must um, persevere and trust your own uh, intuition. Really? Do you like Colombia? How do you feel being here? You know, I really like Colombia. Um, there's a real spirit here. Um, that you can really feel. Um, there's a confidence that I've seen in my, uh, my trips to Colombia. Uh, I mean, is to say a bigger thing, I see South America as a whole kind of coming into the world and bringing that incredible dynamic spirit into the world. Um, uh, and, and the world is going to wake up soon and realize that there's a lot here um, that's vital, culture, um, everything from beauty to food to fashion. So I'm impressed uh, every time I come here. I always walk away feeling like I learned something, I gained something. Um, many cultures you go to, it's almost like it's just like a tourist thing. It's, they, be, they have started to believe their own tourism, and the country is just the gimmick of the tourism. It doesn't really have any flesh and blood anymore. Uh, I don't want to name any names, but... Uh, <laughs> no, it, there's a real dynamic going on here. And as an artist, you really pick up on that. Thank you, Billy. Thank you so much oh, for being with us. Gracias a todos ustedes. Vamos a tomar unas fotitos, si les parece.